Hey YouTube, this is a free extract from my larger Illustrator course called Illustrator Essentials. You can check it out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Um, if you wanna follow along with this video, there's exercise files, okay? Those are free to download. You can go and download those and there'll be a link in the description, okay, so you can play along. Uh, one last thing is there's a cheat sheet as well. So there is a PDF you can download from bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, look for resources, okay? It's a free PDF, you can download it, print it up, stick it next to your computer, while you're doing these videos. All right, enjoy the video. Bye now. Hi there, in this video we take these simple, insignificant lines with a little bit of a gradient in them and then do this to them. Some would say exciting shapes, some would say crimes against design. It gets worse, like we do it with type two. <laughs> Let's learn how to turn those lines using the warp functions in Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Now you can start with any shape. I've got a file open from your exercise files called warp transform. And what I've done is I've just created three rectangles and added a gradient to them. Now for this to work properly, we need to group them, okay? But you can use any shape. Um, I'm going to go select them all and then go to object and go to group. And um, let's look at the effect and it is under warp. Okay, so we're gonna start with arc and yeah, it bends it around like a warp. Okay, and what's cool about it, it's still vector, it's scalable, it's awesome. Um, and you can go through some predefined ones, arc, okay, arc, upper. I'm gonna quickly go through them just so you get a sense of them. Bulge is cool, low shell, even just like instantly. It's doing some cool stuff with those gradients and those colors. Okay, flag, wave, okay, fish. I'm going through them quickly so you don't have to. Just to see what's going in there and you can jump to the one that you love and play around with it. Squeeze. Oh, cool, twist. Now all of them have options. So I'm gonna go back to wave, it's kind of my favorite. Actually, no, let's go to flag. Okay, I love this and you can, look, you can exaggerate the bend, you can make it bend the other way, you can make it kind of balance on one side, maybe up the top there. You can do some really interesting stuff, like just really hard to do with the pen tool or the curvature tool. Okay, so just whack it into the effects wave and yeah, when you're ready, click okay. Now, if you wanna go back and edit it, so you kinda of like it, but later on you wanna go and edit it again, with it selected on your properties panel, there's a, you can kinda of see it there, it's an effect that's applied, okay, and it's called warp flag. Click on it, and I can go in here and change it to something else. I'm gonna go back to my warp flag. Man, that was that looked cool. Let's click okay. Um, next thing I might do, uh, well the next thing to note is that if I grab my black arrow and I have it selected, you can kinda of see, I still have those lines selected, which is weird, okay. Just the way it is, okay? The lines still exist, they're in this kind of like, um, yeah, distortion field that kind of makes them do this. But watch what happens, it's an active distortion. Okay, so if I grab and rotate these corners, look what happens. It's still trying to like, it's it's not kind of rotating as we'd imagined. It's still trying to affect that warp, um, you know, with the wave that's going through here. So it's kind of doing some weird stuff to it. You might like it, okay? But let's say I'm gonna undo it to go back to where it was. Where is it there? Okay, and let's say that I want to kind of move it around now and stop it kind of reacting, is we need to do something called uh, expand appearance. So with it selected, you go up to object, and there's one called expand appearance. And watch what happens to the lines. It kind of changes from this like straight lines that have been distorted to actually just plain old distorted lines. Now there's no like effect to them. You can see the effects gone. Um, I can't go back to those lines now. They're kind of, you know, it's a one way street, but now I get to kind of move this thing around a lot nicer. You can do it with type. I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. I'm, cause I've, I feel like I've created genius here. I love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to draw a rectangle in the back for no reason, otherwise, cause I don't like the white. Let me go back there. Oh, it's blending into it. It's not cool. I'm just gonna pick a dark color. Like Dan, just get on with the tutorial. I promise I will in one second. Dark gray. <laughs> All right, what I wanna do is with type. So grab the type tool, and I'm just gonna click once. I'm gonna type in 80s rule. It's starting to look pretty 80s. 80s rule. Can't even see what I'm doing down there. Yep, 80s rule, that's what I've written. Cool, so I'm going to pick a font off the top of my head, an 80s font. Oh, it's not really 80s, lust. I'll use you, you kind of look 
80s-ish. Okay, I'm going to give it a white fill. So the same thing with type. You don't have to do anything to it. Uh, I'm going to make mine nice and big. And I'm going to go up to Effect, go to Warp, and I'm going to play around with them again. Okay, make sure Preview is on. Yours might not be on by default. Upper Arc is not working for me. Um, what it's doing is as well, it's trying to remember the last thing I did with this guy. I want to kind of get it back to zero. So I'm going to put uh, U at zero and U at zero and put the bend back this side and now start playing with them. Normally at zero, zero. Cool. Wave. Wave's not really working. Kind of is. Let's go for fish. Okay, now I'm just playing around. You can leave this tutorial now. You've got the, you've got the idea, right? Flag. Oh. <laughs> Mine's pretty terrible. All right, so good with the stripes and then so bad with the type. The cool thing about the type though is, I guess before we go, is watch this. My black arrow, I can hover above it. I can kind of type on it. It's quite hard to do. Um, 80s, let's say it's more of a 70s thing. Or yeah, okay, so it's editable type. All right, so that is going to be it for warping around shapes and type using Adobe Illustrator. All right, I will see you in the next video.